what's going on guys it's your boy Dylan back at you guys with another video for black and silver way I just want to recap on basically the rest of the draft that we had uh, and after Amari Cooper went in the first round we ended up picking up our next pick the next day uh, Mario Edwards from Florida State uh, the thing that's good about Mario Edwards is he actually has some kind of uh, stability with our coaching staff our new linebacker coach Sal actually coached him for two years in college so they have some history together and Edwards is honored to be able to play for Sal again with the Oakland Raiders and to kick off his NFL career with a coach that he actually knows. They had a good time back in college, so I'm excited to see some uh, some kind of history start up and some confidence build with Mario. Mario is definitely underrated defensive end. Uh, you can never you know get enough pass rushers in my opinion. So uh, Mario Edwards for his freshman year, he ended up getting two sacks and 17 tackles. As a sophomore, he recorded 28 tackles and four sacks, and then in his junior season he got 23 tackles and three sacks then after his junior year which was this year he entered the 2015 draft and he is now a Oakland Raider so uh, this is a good pickup there's nothing wrong with grabbing a defensive end out of the draft and I completely uh, like this pick let's hope that he can grow with our coaching staff and hopefully he can make that roster cut because I'm sure he will he's very underrated and I feel like uh, this was a steal for us in the second round in the third round we actually selected a tight end, surprisingly. Uh, his name is Clive Walford, and he is actually from Miami, the University of Miami, and basically he is also a very underrated tight end, very versatile, and it could be very explosive. Basically, in his first uh, freshman year, he played eight games with, or he, yeah, he, he started with eight games, and he played, he was healthy for the full 12. He finished with 18 receptions for 172 yards and a touchdown. As a sophomore in 2012, Walford also had 25 receptions, 451 yards and it touched and four touchdowns over 12 games out of those 12 games he started five and as a junior he worked his way up to a starter and he started 12 of 13 games recorded 34 receptions 454 yards and two touchdowns and um, Walford also returned as a starter his season uh, his senior season but he was selected in the third round, 68 overall from the Oakland Raiders. And it's going to definitely help out our tight end core because we have, um, you know, Michael Rivera that we grabbed from the draft. Marcel Reese could also be utilized as a tight end, but he's mainly, of course, our kept at fullback. But we've always wanted him to go to tight end, but it never really happened. So we keep him at fullback. And this guy's going to definitely bring some versatility to our, our tight end because he could catch the ball. He's good at blocking, and he can definitely be a dual threat. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do. You know, he's not expecting to start, and we're not expecting him to be our savior at tight end because Michael Rivera is also a great tight end. But it's going to definitely be interesting to see uh, what's going on with the competition and the tight ends because everybody's competing for a spot. Everybody wants to be a starter, and we just got to see how this is all going to play out. And I feel like building more competition at each position is going to be for greater success for us during the season. Also, the Raiders drafted uh, from the University of Miami an offensive guard by the name of John Feliciano. He could also play five positions on the line. He played right guard, right tackle, left tackle, left guard, and center sometimes. He could do whatever, and that's definitely going to help us out because we need to have as much as we can to protect for Derek Carr, and especially we need someone that is going to be versatile on the line because, as we know, the injuries in the past have held us back from uh, completing a really good season. So this guy could definitely help out. He's very big. I mean, the guy... Um, did really good at the University of Miami and this guy can be a great guard so let's hopefully hope that he can you know beef it up in the later rounds we actually picked up a linebacker Ben Heaney and we picked up a cornerback by the name of Dexter McDonald and with the last pick we picked up wide receiver Andre Du Bois and oh wait we have more uh, defensive end Max Vales and also a uh, tackle from Anthony Morris out of Tennessee State and that pretty much ended our draft class we ended up trading uh, doing some moves 
and we ended up picking up a good amount of players. You know, Reggie McKenzie's been known for knowing how to get as many players out of the draft as we can. So that was really good to see that he was making moves, and we ended up getting a lot of players out of the draft again, guys. So I want to see who makes it out of these guys. I'm really excited, of course, for Amari Cooper and our first three picks. And you also can't forget about um, – Andre Du Bois too. Andre Du Bois, the wide receiver, had a nice little highlight reel as well. So yeah, that's a pretty much our draft class. I mean, overall on the draft class, I'm gonna go ahead and rate us at a solid B plus. I feel very comfortable with it, especially with going, um, you know, being able to pick the best wide receiver out of the draft. Also getting a lot of defensive players and a few uh, offensive weapons for Derek Carr. I mean, this is a great draft class again, and I feel like I don't regret anything that Reggie McKenzie really did. So, um, you know, the more I thought about Amari Cooper and everything, it, it was a very smart pickup, especially with uh, Leonard Williams having shoulder, -y pro shoulder problems already. And breaking news today, and I can't believe it happened, which it caught me off guard this morning when I woke up, but it is what it is. I understand these cuts is the first big shocker over the other player is James Jones was cut from the Oakland Raiders today. Uh, James Jones came from the Packers last year off of free agency to be that number one guy. And he was our number one guy for Derek Carr last year. But the thing you got to think about, guys, is he's 31 years old. We just picked up Michael Crabtree. He's 28 years old, and he has excellent hands. We just picked up Amari Cooper, and Amari Cooper is a very young, talented wide receiver that may even start. Then you got Rod Streeter. Then you got Andre Holmes. Every single person on that wide receiver core is really young. And if you think about it, Michael Crabtree is also very young. He's only 28 years old, and he hasn't really played that much football. He's only been in the league since 2009 season. So um, I feel like that move was based upon uh, seniority and just trying to get the team to be a young team and gel together. James Jones could have helped the wide receiver core with you know, answering questions and being more of a mentor, but I feel like they're focused on Amari Cooper right now, and they're focused on Michael Crabtree, and they're focused on uh, is Rod Streeter or Andre Holmes going to rise up on that roster? Are they going to fall down? They really want to focus on what the young core instead of the older core. And James Jones, he did that double fumble last year, and he did what he could, but I feel like uh, they... Um, it was kind of a short-term thing with the way this draft went, picking Amari Cooper. And also, we let go of linebacker Miles Burris. Miles Burris was, I think he was drafted in the 2012 season. So he was a part of the Reggie McKenzie era, but he just never really panned out. You know, he showed glimpses of good Foot, uh, good linebacking skills but at the same time he had a really big injury he was out for a while and ever since then he's kind of been missing tackles and misreading routes the guy was a Raider fan his whole life though and he like was honored to put the silver and black on which I highly respect I never hated on Miles Burris uh, only the times I got mad at him after the games when he would blow some coverage or blow a tackle but other than that, he was never really a guaranteed starter, and he kind of was just helping out, and it's our roster's been in limbo, and our whole coaching staff's been in transition, so it was just a bad timing for Miles Burris. I'm sure Miles will find something else, and I'm sure James Jones is going to definitely get picked up somewhere. So good luck to their careers. That's going to be my 2015 draft recap. I give us a solid B+, and I think that the mini rookie camp for um, – this week is going to start on Tuesday or tomorrow or Wednesday. So I will definitely guys give you guys updates on how the rookie cam goes. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.